So I'm here making a, I don't know, a blender thing, a blender tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Um, so they're, they got this feature and I'm pretty sure it's, um, add-ons. It's this blender kit online asset a a library here. So basically it pulls up this and you can click it on and off, but this thing here. And you can, and you can, uh, hammer. Let's see. Let's see what, what Blender gives me. Cause I've been typing in different stuff and just looking, see, look, like here's a free hammer. I mean, this one's a lot better. That looks fucking really good. Some of this stuff is really good, but here's one. It actually looks all right. That looks decent. This one. So you can just type it. And I know that a lot of people are, uh, you know, they might be new to this or not new to this, depending. I mean, if you found this video, then you're probably like a, a nerd or something. So anyways, so basically you can, you know, you can just search and, and look for stuff here. And, um, it's, it's tempting to be lazy with it. But the thing about it is when you make something, you have to have an idea for what the hell you're doing, man. Because everything revolves around that basic concept of making a final product for people to consume, essentially. You know, it's just like a candy bar or an apple, you know, or something. It's just like a meal, like a hamburger. I mean, it's like, is this something, if it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Um, so when, when it's hard, it's hard too when people want to be artists and they have emotional attachments to the things that they're doing and they have their unique experience and their struggle and their, their inspiration and motivation and, and their personal life. And I am very sentimental and I, but I'm not a therapist. Um, that being said, what I'm trying to get at is there's something that you need to make as far and see you, you think, Oh, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a job. But you can do so much on your own, but see, it's hard. It's hard to get there. You know, if you thought about making a, a, a full video game on your own, you'd have to, you know, code it. You'd have to make all the assets. You'd have to figure, you know, it takes a lot of work to get, to make something good. It takes a lot of work. And, you know, when, when I first, I feel like a noob, I'm a cliche ass little whiny baby. Because whenever I start first trying Blender, I was under this impression, like, you know, you sh Ooh, that's cool. Laser cutter. But you should, you know, you should make all your own shit and, um, for your stuff that you're making because, you know, it's basically like you're just adding stuff in. It's like you're playing Minecraft. You're just using stuff that someone else built <clears throat> in a different way. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not, it's like, it's like a beat. Like when you don't design the, the sounds and the beat, you're just using someone else's sound design, you know? And that's kind of the essentially, you know, be the difference of being a producer and a designer. And these are actually different positions um, that you don't really think about this kind of shit, but a producer, you know, and, and I don't know everything, but when it really comes down to it, you have to think about being a fucking producer. If you're going to be a producer, man, you can't just be like, Oh yeah, I'm just going to use all these models and use all this fucking shit. And I'm going to put something, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like, even if you're making one image, you're still a producer. Like if you're just making a fucking render, you're a producer, no matter what you're using, you're a producer. So if you're a designer and producer, those are two different things. But I mean, the designer isn't the producer, you know what I'm saying? So these are two different fucking things. And, you know, so being an artist, designer, producer, uh, writer, you know, director, so <laughs> actor, all these different things come together for most things that we consider entertainment, you know, movies, games. So it, it, you have to think in that aspect, like it doesn't hurt to understand these things. It doesn't hurt to like do some writing, do some, you know, learn about directing, learn about these. Cause you think you like, you don't need it. You think that you don't, you know, it's something that's outside of what you know, right? It's something that's irrelevant to you. Cause you're just fucking around in blender. You're just in blender making these, you know, little fucking projects and, and, and stuff. 
and you know trying to you know get a job or whatever but it's like dude like when you you're like you're gonna have to understand a lot of that different stuff like you're gonna have to have a basic understanding of what a be, being a director is you know it's like lighting you know what i'm saying there, there's a lot of people that post videos online in a lot of different places that have zero understanding of lighting because they are fucking ignorant as fuck and they don't know how to make a fucking video proper they don't understand light like it doesn't like you know like because people make stuff and they don't care they don't care you know they don't give a fuck about they're just making some video or whatever you know a lot of the time so you got all of these things that you're trying to throw together and mind you in your own house if you have shitty lighting it can actually make you look shitty to another person in your own house. That's a weird fun fact. I don't think you're going to find that anywhere else. That's, that's actually an observation I made on my own because I'm a smart ass. Um, anyways, so the whole, th but it was what I was saying before with the whole thing with being lazy um, and, you know, oh, you know, this, this belief about being an artist where you have to make all your own stuff. You don't have to. I mean, honestly, dude, when you really think about things in a technical aspect, you're going to make something that's very, like, you're going to make this shape, this design that's going to be very similar to what a, someone else made unless you're making something unique. Like a sword, for example. I mean, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different designs of swords, but how are you going to use that sword? You know what I'm saying? So if you're being a designer or a producer, those are two different things. Um, you know, and I think some people are, like, confused about what the fuck they are. You know, because uh, there's a reason why a person's a producer and there's a reason why a person's a designer. There's a reason why a person is an artist and there's a reason why a person is an actor. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are all things that a person can be that are separate things. Um, so when you think, oh, well, I just want to be an artist, you know, it can be an artist can be a, a many different things that, I, you know, I think people have a lack of understanding for all of these different positions and how they kind of come together in the end. And how, you know, you can consider being an independent creator. You know, you can do a lot of things um, by yourself. Um, and from a producer's perspective, it's not even a bad thing to use other people's assets. It, it really isn't, especially if they're royalty free. Now, I can see how the, especially the modeling community is, you know, kind of, it's a struggle because... You have someone offering something free. You have someone trying to sell stuff. And I know that it, it can be kind of a diff. Oh, that's really cool. That's free. Look at that. It's a warthog. That's free, man. Um, so it can be kind of this difficult thing, I think, where it's like, well, you know, you're just essentially bringing stuff into scene. I personally, I don't care. I don't care. Like, I've gotten to a point, like, if I'm producing something, I don't care about spending a million years on it if i can just use someone else's stuff but at the same time even in music production it's the same thing like you have these assets man like in in, in, a, in a beat you have the you have the hats you have the kicks and the snares and you have the lead or you have the pad you have all these things that are coming together and they have their different spaces but if you don't design them you can have a lack of individuality you can have a lack of um personality you can have a lack of artistic you know an artistic edge a creative edge but you have to kind of think about what you're going for and there's actually a lamborghini on here too which is cool um wow i can do a lot with that i wish it was easy to slice someone in half on blender um <laughs> i actually uh did um did um try to um uh, uh, slice some people I, I tried to make a violent scene in blender animation and it was uh with a liquid simulation at, with blood and it was it's kind of different it didn't really turn out right it was pretty difficult to, to do um but it, but anyways what i was going to get to this is for, uh blender is now for late it's for lazy people dude you have so many materials that you can drag and drop it's so stupid too because when you really get down to it it's like if you're just going to plug in textures, they pre-made textures, okay? If you're just going to plug in pre-made textures that you that you got online because, you know, that's what people do. That's what a lot of, pro, you know, pe professionals do, depending on where you're at. Um, ooh, this isn't, uh, is that a, I thought that was like a grasshopper there. <laughs> but, uh, but now, but, um, so essentially, 
uh, if you really look at uh, you know the being making something that's truly um, individualized and different and, and unique, it, it's not easy it, to make that quality because there's a lot of different things you can tweak. There's a lot of different technical things you can do. Um, a lot of different, you know, it's just like it can take a lot of work to make a final product. And um, but even for this, so think about this. You know, you're importing a texture. You didn't make this texture, and a lot of people, even if you're making procedural stuff, that gets really hard to make these these bump maps and and these these color because all it really is is a as a series of colors and shades you know black coming up to brown lighter brown which is showing the the lighting of this um and which i actually found out that some of the some of the settings for these can be off uh i usually it's weird but uh sometimes it's on flat Sometimes it looks better on box for some reason. Um, sometimes not. But this is on UV. So if you do generated, it doesn't have, it's like seamless now. So that's, a, you know, Blender Kit. Um, but all I was going to say is, is, so these textures, it's another, it's another thing. Oh, you can see the seam actually. Can't see it really from right here. You wouldn't be able to notice that far away. Um, but, um, <clears throat> so like even these textures are a matter of originality. Um, like it's the same, it's a, it's the same design concept. And <laughs> the thing about textures is their ability to be different. So we, what I found out with making several, several, several procedural textures, it's really easy to make something that looks like obviously the same throughout this, you know, the texture by just throwing in a moose um I, I guess i don't know how to say moose grave or so throwing in a noise you know it's really easy to make something that looks really repetitive and it looks really bland and simple because there's not a lot really going on with the color shades it's a really you know so you kind of have to mix some you, you have to get into adma- advanced mixing essentially which can be in a lot of work that's like unnecessary like what the fuck are you trying to make you know i think that's what you got to ask yourself what are you trying to do and um, in a professional setting, I, you know, I don't really know because I know that I'm, I think a lot of studios that make quality games, because I know like quality music, you design everything from scratch if you really want to make something that's great. And that's the best way to do anything. So even these textures would be better to make from scratch. Like it would make the shapes and the visuals in your game very unique to do so you need to know how to make textures so that has to do with 2 2d art um but you know essentially people just go out and scan stuff and so it, you know it's gotten to a, a, a stage where you know it's changing a lot and i don't know everything about what's going on because i'm not paying attention um entirely that much i just kind of take things um Sometimes I pay attention to what's going on. Sometimes I don't because I'm not working in the field. Um, I'm an artist that utilizes the program as an asset. Um, uh, I'm a music producer. I use um, After Effects. I've been I've been learning After Effects. I do 2D animations and I use a, um, Adobe Animate. They have a really cool feature in Adobe Animate, by the way. And uh, Blender is a very you know powerful program. It has 2D animation now and all this. But uh, Adobe Anime has a feature um, 2D, or it's a um, voice lip syncing. So you can go put your voice in, right? And you program it. You can look it up, uh, Adobe Anime lip sync if you want, um, if anybody even watches this. But you, you, you put it, the different shapes of the mouth, and it, it identifies it with, with the, the sound. So <laughs> old school animating, you have to design every mouse shape for a particular word type thing. So that is a lot of work. So I've been, I can see the gold in it because you can make a minimal effort dialogue animations if you freestyle some, some freestyle some dialogue. So basically you just use this automated mouth. So I've been doing that, like making weird characters and automating the mouth to make like these weird dialogue conversations over like controversial stuff or weird stuff or you know just being a fucking weirdo and just creating crazy shit because that's the way i am um anyways um that's pretty much it 
um, Blender for lazy people, I guess. I think people are too lazy to even watch this. Uh, this uh, what is this? A tutorial? This is a fucking. Um, I don't know what this is. It's just a thingy. The thingy thingy. It's a thingy thingy thingy. Bye.